Hi everybody. I know I usually post videos on Fridays, but we've had a lot going on recently and I just didn't get to doing that. So I'm trying to get this done before I have more things that are happening. Um, so for today I just have a collage spread for you that I did in a homemade journal and there is a video for how I make my collage journals that was inspired by Tisha Moore. So for this I just I spritzed the pages with water and then I applied some golden Indian yellow hue and it's just to give everything a base coat and make everything uniform. I just like to get a base layer down and I just like to wet it so it's, I mean, golden fluid paint is already very fluid, but just adding that water makes it super quick and gets it out really fast. So now I'm adding some quinacridone nickel azo gold around the edges and I think I use it a little bit more later with a stencil, but we will wait and see. <laughs> I haven't done any collage this style in quite some time. I've done a little bit with Dilutions, but it's been a long time since I've worked in one of these journals. And even this, this is old. I've had this, not like old as in years, but months. It's been a while since I have worked in my collage journal and watching this video it it made me miss it. It's just very it's very fun to do and very relaxing even though sometimes it can be a little uh, I don't even want to say frustrating because it's not that bad. It's just sometimes you get stuck wondering what to do next but Overall, it is so fun to do this style. So now I'm adding more of that same color, Conacridone Nickel Azel Gold, and I'm applying it through a stencil by the Crafters Workshop. It is called Plaid Fringe, and it was designed by Bolzer Designs. So I'm just applying this in the middle, kind of getting it to blend a tiny bit with the outer edge. I'm not overall worried about how well it's applied and how well it's blended because honestly once you apply like you put all the layers on top and all the collage pieces and the doodles it's just another layer on the spread. Here we have a, another crafters workshop stencil and it's called Coronet Wreath and this one is by Art by Marlene. So I wanted a color that was going to stand out more against the background. So I'm using Quinacridone Magenta. And all the paints that I've used on this background are Golden Fluid acrylic paints. Not that you need golden, you can use Liquitex. I'm just letting you know what I have used on this spread. This is a beautiful stencil. When I do bold images like this, I like to do it in threes, or at least odd numbers. So I'm adding this one in three spots on the page. And that doesn't mean I need to do the whole entire thing. Just like I, I would have been happy even if I did less than the amount I'm stenciling now. Just as long as it was in three spots, it would have eased my mind. <laughs> so now I'm going over the whole entire thing with Quinacridone Nickel Azel Gold. Let me double check that. Yes. Oh no. It is Nickel Azel Yellow. And I just went over the entire thing because I wanted, I wanted those doily or wreath whatever, that stencil to be pushed back just a little bit. 
So I chose a color that wasn't too far from the first color I laid down, but just added a little bit. So off camera, I went through my images from Mischief Circus and just chose some that went with the background. I didn't necessarily choose all the pieces and where they were going to go. Just getting a general idea and having some extra ones off to the side that I liked with the colors in the background. Now these black and white strips, I know it's in another one of my collage videos. This was just a piece of paper that I painted black strips on and then black stripes, sorry and then I cut them in strips and in this album I'm going to do all of the pages with that border. I just thought it would be nice for them all to have something in common and I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry my mind is elsewhere. Um, I am I think this was the last bit of the strips that I have left or I got one more page and I'm going to have to make more. I had used a stencil to do it, but the next time instead of fussing around with a stencil, I'm just going to take, um, I don't even know if I'll use paint. Maybe I'll just use a Sharpie marker and just do some stripes on a white piece of paper because I, I believe I did it the hard way. I mean, there's really no need of using a stencil to make stripe lines. <laughs> it's really not necessary. So next time I'm just going to take a white piece of paper and like I said, maybe a Sharpie marker. I don't know if I'll use a Sharpie or a paintbrush with some black paint on it and just simply draw stripes on a white piece of paper and then cut them in strips. It'll be way easier than what I did for the first bunch. I am using Mod Podge to lay all my images down. I know some people people prefer um, a glue stick, and I do like glue sticks, but I don't know. I find the Mod Podge so much faster and easier because you're applying it with the brush and you get the coat on top. Just make sure to apply a good amount that it's going to stick but not so much that your paper is going to get like so wet and rumply. Other than that, like I don't have any problems with mine. I know some people find their images get too wrinkly and I have seen that, like especially with large images, I don't find the small ones are so bad. But if you have a really large image, then yes, definitely, I do agree with that. They do tend to get wrinkly. But for what I'm doing here, it works perfectly fine. Now you may have noticed that when I'm applying these borders that I'm cutting in spots, the reason I'm doing that, it's where the page folds. So if I just kept it in one long strip over the fold, then what tends to happen is it'll come undone from where it's being bent all the time. So I just cut it right at that crease where the page is going to bend and butt the next piece up right to it. And that way I have no problems opening and closing, not that I have problems opening and closing my pages, I have problems with the border popping up in that spot if I don't cut it and I leave it in one big piece. So other than that, I don't think there's too much to tell. All I do is play around with images, glue them down, and do some doodling and writing. And my quotes, I just find them, like if I see a good one that I like on Instagram, I'll save it and sometimes I have some saved on my phone and I just go through them and find one that I want to use for my pages. And that is it.
So I'm going to try and remember and look for the videos where it shows how I make the collage album and the one where it's showing how I made those border strips. So I'm going to try and remember to do that. I've written a note and it's off to the side of me so fingers crossed I will remember and I apologize if I forget. So that is all. I'm just going to play some music for you and I hope you enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Have a great weekend.